guys, this is Eco Static Kid. We, here we are in um, Carmel Valley, California, interviewing Cooper. <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> oh, no, Keep I, going. Interviewing Cooper at the Cooper at the Rana Creek. Yeah, Rana Creek. Mm-hmm. Question one: What is a living roof? A living roof is a roof top on top of the building that has living plants on it and they're growing inside of soil that's on top of the roof. Hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of, so you sort of have the roof and then there's soil over it and then that grows. Uh huh. And you can plant the plants right into the soil. And there's different layers below the soil so that the water doesn't go right in and leak down into the building. What are some plants that you put on living roofs? Mm. There's all kinds of plants you can put on living roofs. A lot of them are plants that don't get very big because if you can imagine, you don't have that much room to plant in on top of the roof, so it would be pretty hard to put trees up there. But you can do low-growing things like grasses and wildflowers and different succulents like little sedums, things like that. And I guess if you lived in California, you could have California poppies everywhere. You could have California poppies everywhere, definitely. Yes. Um, what are some animals that you get on the roofs? Is there like a certain, uh, is it just birds that like the living roofs, or is it or something else? That That's a good question, because a lot of what we do is try and put plants on the roofs that will bring in certain animals and certain birds, like butterflies and endangered butterflies. Uh, we also find that on the roof sometimes you'll get, well, there was a job we did in San Francisco and we found a snake up there on the roof. And we don't know how it got up there. Maybe <laughs> maybe a hawk dropped it from its talons, and then it lived up there. But we've seen lizards on top of roofs, even frogs. He wants his ball under there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> frogs. I mean, we printed an article about living roofs in San Francisco, and it said that there was a butterfly was the... Checker spot? Yeah, checker spot. Uh -huh. the, and they said that that was endangered. Uh huh. Um, is it is it bringing back these? Well, that's what we're hoping oh. to do. We've put up plants up there that will make food and shelter for that butterfly for its larval stage and for when it's a grown-up adult. And we know the butterfly's in the area, so by putting the plants up there that it likes, hopefully we can get it up onto the roof and make a safe haven for it up there. Yeah, it's not like a butterfly, butterfly heaven where nothing goes wrong. Exactly. Let's just hope that no snakes or frogs go there. <laughs> this is true. How much does it cost to put a living roof on your house? Well, it depends on how big the living roof is going to be and what kind of plants you want to put up there and the type of soil. Usually it breaks down to a dollar amount kind of by square foot. So if this was part of your roof, this would be a certain amount of money. And it really depends on the size of the project. So, it's like, so square foot, mm -hmm. or square three feet, is like one dollar. So, yep, so if your roof is large, uh -huh. the more of those you have, the more it costs them. Exactly. And the amount, of, the type of system that you want to put on your roof. Some living roofs don't have any system at all. They've Things, uh, the leaves have fallen and the dirt has started to build up and the plants start to grow on the roof without you doing anything. So that would be a pretty cheap roof. But for the most part, when you're actually planting a living roof and you're trying to put vegetation up there, you have to put these systems down, these plastic layers, um, so that the water doesn't permeate through and soak into the roof. So that gets a little bit more expensive. Um, why do you do this? Well, we do this because we think it's a good cause for the environment. It cuts down on a lot of electricity costs, and it makes a real safe haven for these uh, insects, these beneficial insects, the bees and the butterflies that are flying through. And it captures a lot of the rainwater that comes down that would normally go right into the sewer system and go back out to the bay. And this way, we can capture that water, filter it, and then reuse it. So it cuts down on a lot of the water usage throughout a community. And it um, cuts down on 
puts down a, a bill of all the water that you get, so... Exactly. You can reuse, recycle that water. The only problem is, though, it takes a lot... It, um, it takes a lot of money to get a living roof, so... So... But, hopefully, over time, the savings that you'll get from all of those benefits will make up for the price that it costs to put the roof in. Mm -hmm. I hope that somewhat, somewhere in the future, living roofs become more common and they're not as expensive. So. Exactly. And they're much more common in other parts of the world. Uh, throughout Europe and Germany, they're all over the place. Here, we're just starting to catch on to it more and more. Yeah, we were talking at home that... Ireland and England, they have them everywhere, mm -hmm. and the people will just, they just put their soil on the roof, they, they, don't, they don't really buy them, but in the U.S., we don't have as many, but a lot of other countries have living roofs. We're starting to get more and more here, too, especially uh, on the East Coast and in Chicago, places like that, where they're making it a requirement where you have to put green roofs on certain types of buildings. Does the cold affect the living roof? It definitely can. And that depends on the plants that you're putting on the roof. If you have, if you're in an area where it's going to freeze and snow, then you can only put plants up there that will live during the dry season or plants that can tolerate that freeze and kind of go dormant and then come back to life when it heats up again. We were thinking about that because we thought that, because we realized that Chicago is said to be the best city well, they have the most living roofs. Uh -huh. And we thought, why? Because it's, it's cold, cold and cold, windy. Cold and windy. Uh-huh. How, how does it, how does it, how do they live there? It's cold and windy. A lot of the plants will freeze and, and kind of die away on the top level, right above the soil, when it's snowing. And then as soon as it warms up, they'll start to regrow from the roots underneath the soil. Really? Yeah. So... They might look like they're dead, but they're actually still alive underneath. And then they'll come back as soon as it starts to heat up and springtime comes around. Now, it's kind of like a winter sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> we have a living roof dog. <laughs> <laughs> we do. And last but not least, which mm -hmm. country has the most living roofs? That's a good question. I think it's Germany at this point. I think they're the leader. But I'll have to find out. I can let you know. We, we thought that it might have been either England or Ireland. Oh, really? Oh, okay. We, we thought that, but if... I but might be wrong. I will have to ask someone from our other department that specializes primarily just in those roofs. But that's a good question. Thank you for letting us come. Oh, thank you very much.